Okay, well, that's good. I don't, do we have, I still don't have Facebook Live, though. Do I? I thought you did, because I thought I gave it a thumbs up. All right, let me see if I can't, why I can't find it. Ah, there it is. All right. We are... Late as usual. Late is, very late, but here. Okay, that's working. It looks like, all right, Instagram... I think is working. I have no clue. I'm giving up on that. Connect to streaming software. All right. Well, that's okay. Let me close this so I don't wreck what we do have working. All right. There we go. So, Ken, let's start it all again. We get to repeat everything. Ken, where can people find you when they when they're not finding you here? When they're not looking for me here? When they're well, not some, looking for you. Sometimes I'm out in the galaxy bounty hunting across it with Todd and Ken. And then sometimes I'm putting together stuff for the rambling Star Wars fan. All right. And if you, if they can find me here or helping Zoe with Star Wars Geek Girl, <clears throat> we just did a, a recap of her, of her uh, Jeopardy game. Mailed out all the prizes. Hopefully, um, everyone got all their prizes. I think I got, you know, um, I, oh, I no, everything out personal information. Where was the farthest one sent to? Canada. Okay. Right. Nice. So, well, and as the person who had to ship everything, so anyone out there running a contest, don't put some kind of disclaimer, which I was happy to send it to Canada. But you might want to put a disclaimer that there might be an additional postage charge if it's out of the United States, <laughs> which we, we, you know, Star Wars Geek Girl covered all that. And you also might want to um, make sure all your prizes fit in a 12 by 12 box because that that um, lo- that Stormtrooper helmet, the shipping was quite ridiculous <laughs> because it it had to be put in a 16 by 16 by 16 box. And if, if you mail anything over 12 by 12 by 12, the prices jump enormously. Well, to me, it just sounds like a, a you know, a, a side effect of being involved with this show. And that it's, it's, it rarely goes as planned. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and that was my fault because I did, I did mention to Zoe, she wanted, she wanted small stuff. And I was like, Oh, this helmet would be cool. And I just forgot how much bigger the animated helmet is um, compared yeah, see, to a regular. It's not Star Wars Geek Girl's fault, and it's our fault, your fault. It's Star Wars Geek Dad's fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that it is. Um, but in a world where people don't want to take responsibility, it's nice that the blame can be put on one of us. Yes, I will. I will gladly take the blame. But it was a good contest. It was, I'm happy for the winners. Everyone seems super, super happy that they won. And, they posted up some stuff for her, and so yeah, Star Wars Geek Girl's doing some work. She's doing some writing, and um, so all is good in the Star Wars podcasting world. So before we start any topics, um, 
have you done any trooping lately? Um, trooping, no. I don't know if you were if we've gotten together since that um, event at the big kid toy store. We haven't because we. I think our last time we talked was right before Halloween. It might have been even before before that because I think our last time we got together was like the um, maybe the twenty maybe it was right before Halloween the week yeah. before. So did you did you troop that? Yeah, so uh, Heather and I drove out to New Egypt, Pennsylvania. Um, New Jersey. Yeah, that's right. New Egypt, New Jersey. I I get my states confused because I'm in a state of confusion. Yeah, well, um, that's... And yeah, so we drove out there, spent a little bit of time wandering around. And I know I've said here on this show before that in 2024, I wasn't going to buy any more <laughs> stuff. Yeah, and, I think you... I Have you said that every year that we've done the podcast? Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Okay. And, yes. and every year I, I fail at it miserably. In fact, I came home with a new Bantha. Nice. One of the furry ones. <clears throat> the I big one? It, the big one or like the... Oh, yeah. The big one. Not the, oh, not, oh, like the for the three and three quarters. Yeah, for the three and three quarter inch Oh, figures. yeah. That's a and, nice one. And that came with... The gentleman also gave me um, three other Tuscan Raiders. So the one Tuscan Raider came with the Bantha by itself. Then he gave me two male Tuscans. Nice. And the female version of the Tuscan with the baby and the little papoose. Um, so I got a bunch of new uh, Tuscans and a Bantha, a furry one. Nice. I purchased a handful of um, Star Wars, Clone Wars skateboards. They're about this big. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like perfect size for the six-inch figures to 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 um to to pose with. around. Yeah, and I also bought um, thanks to Heather. I bought a new a new used old oh, Jar nice. Jar watch. Nice. And, and that was from episode one. So we're talking about a watch that's 20, 25 years old. And another Jar Jar watch. Nice. Now, do you have the Jar Jar watch from Burger King? That I don't have. But I do have... Um, some of the posters that came out with with uh, those, those meals and those toys. Someone at a convention was selling a whole bunch of Jar Jar stuff, and I managed to pick those up. Nice. But at this event, I got so I got two watches, six or eight skateboards, four Tuscans, and a furry Bantha in the year that I said I wasn't going to get anything new. Well, that's pretty. That's a I, as a as a toy collector, that's pretty much like buying nothing. Yeah, it's like you, buying nothing. You, yeah. you, you know what I mean, like. Like um, there's this. I remember when when I was in the height of my collecting, was uh, oh, it was probably it was around. It was when they were releasing. It was Phantom Menace um, time, and it was when Hills Department Store was going out of business, <clears throat> and I drove a truck at the time. So I went by like seven of them every day on my route, and I would just at lunch I would just and I would come home with like clearance of the of the big droid like i was just a droid i was just buying droids of all sorts like all, remember they made all the r2s that were in that in yep. the Naboo fighter they made the like this uh 12 inch versions you know the and I, I was buying all of those so um and with nowhere to put them they were just like oh okay put these in a box put these in a box this was before i had kids and all that stuff um and it's so. funny to think that those things are this year 25 years old yeah yeah well, even the Clone Wars stuff, like I, I feel like I know everyone get, gets um, excited about like the the original figures, but I would say the height of Star Wars figures was during the Clone Wars. Like they oh, were, yeah, released... they were putting out play sets. They were putting out some great, great. Yeah, like you would see it on the show that week, and then you go to Target, and they'd have like like really characters that you're like you wouldn't even think they'd make a figure for. You know, and he had play sets and tanks and and all that stuff. Um, and that was back when you bought like five of them and you put together a droid that was in the you know in the pack. Yeah, all the pieces. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah. And so I ended up, I did end up getting geared up as um, as Kenex for a little while. And actually, I think the 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 best part of purchasing those um, skateboards is I purchased them while in costume. Oh, that's nice. And so there was a. A family there that had a little 
they they had a, a shop and then out front they had just a bunch of things that they were selling and the, the the skateboards were in that and so when heather and i did our first round through as as tourists yeah we saw them the the the, the young lady mentioned how much they were i'm like oh that's very nice and we walked away and then i came back and and purchased them in costume and they took pictures and it was it was it was just fun and i was only in costume for for maybe maybe two or three hours but it was it was just fun to be out and about yeah that's nice yeah i um i trooped um twice didn't you oh yeah i did that's right i tr so the one the first one was a unofficial troop it was at my wife's school okay like they did a uh haunted hallways or something like that and um so it was just it was me and uh marcus marcus brought his um uh gong jawa. droid and jawa that's such a crowd favorite yeah and then i was i was my tk and then we put on um we put on uh like the we brought in the Yoda from um, Home Depot. And, oh, okay. And um, set did you have it dressed up, up in his, his Halloween stuff? Yeah, we put his Halloween stuff up, and then we did. Um, we also put. Um, we had Lego printed. I printed here. I have one right here. Um, we printed. Uh, lightsabers and then missy bought balloons so this is a lego the the end broke off of this one but this was a lego lightsaber and we brought pool noodle lightsabers and it had balloons and the kids could um hit balloons in the air um it was pretty cool and then we had put a, on the tv we put the john williams um cd or dvd i don't know if you know if you ever bought the soundtrack this soundtrack there's a, a option or a special disc in the back, which is a DVD of just musical suites with videos on. Oh, that's very cool. So we had that playing on television in the room. So that we did, did that at her school. And then we did an official troop at my school, um, our haunted, our version of haunted hallways. And I trooped with old line garrison. So Josh was our handler. And, um, then I had two other gentlemen, a TK and a Royal Guard, and we trooped that, which was a lot of fun. It's funny because both of the guys I trooped with were guys I convinced to join the Legion over time. That's awesome. So, so the two TKs were guarding the guard. Yeah, yeah. It's it's always weird. It's 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 not. I wouldn't say off putting, but it's always weird to see the Royal Guard by himself. You know, like like they, they're almost like they have to come. In. It's like seeing a a snow trooper in July. You're like, did you get on the wrong transport, sir? You know, <laughs> you seem out of place. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. So that was our trooping, um, trooping no no news. Um, I have a whole. Why is this? Who who uh, took pictures while you were doing those? Nobody. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Missy took like two pictures of us because she was handing out candy. And then um, when we were doing the Halloween thing at school, um, they took a, like one or two pictures of us getting ready. And then it just, when you don't have official handlers, because Josh had to go, he just helped us get ready. And then when you don't have official handlers, you don't get pictures, which I think I said on this show before. I, I think that's my saddest thing with, with trooping lately. I feel like we don't have enough, enough photographers. Which is wild because we now have access to many more cameras than we ever had before. I know, but it's I, I don't know what happened. It seemed like like ten years ago, if you went to an event, you could sit down and spend twenty minutes just looking at the photos that everybody took. Yeah. And now, it, even the big events, you're lucky if you see like three. You know, like like. So I, I don't know what I don't know if that's just an oversight or if everyone's just so excited to be in costume or 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 what it is, but that is a that is a, a sadder part of that. And how did your Halloween walkthrough go? That was awesome. We had uh we had uh, the DeLorean there. I had a little Star Wars set up. Um we probably we we gave out well close to nine hundred pieces of candy. 
And so if you count the parents and the kids and all the people that didn't take candy, we probably did. We had to push almost 900 people coming through. Wow. You know, like it, had, there was a, there was we a, only one, had six kids come to our house on Halloween. Really? Well, maybe you should just come down the, you should come to our place for Halloween. That's what everyone just like right now. It's me, Andy and Marty do it, but I'm welcome to any more people, you know, and so, while I don't count it as an official troop, I got to wear my uh, Jedi costume to work on Friday. Oh, that's nice. On Halloween. Oh, that's nice. And uh, the president of a of our region, yeah, he dressed up as Gru, and at, we have three three campuses in in the the New Jersey region or the East region, and each one of the building leaders, the, each one of the vice presidents dressed as one of the minions <laughs> so when he went to each campus on halloween handing out candy um he had at least one minion with him at every every that's campus. funny was, well, i was I, I my super nerd brain when you said grew i was thinking of grew the barbarian <laughs> remember that comic so, book yeah from, the, from comics c-o-m-i-x right <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Uh, at first i was like oh no no, no that's not that's not that's not the grew yeah. you're talking about um yeah that's funny yeah, so Halloween was, was 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 okay. I got to I wore I wore my Jedi costume for probably fifteen hours. I wore it like literally all day. Well, yeah, I wore my TK for the um, handing out candy, but because we were down a person, Zoe wasn't here. I couldn't see to give out candy, so I had I was literally holding a bucket of candy in one hand and my bucket in the other hand <laughs> because I, I just couldn't I couldn't see like I, I the candy was too low so. Because I didn't want to, I didn't want to bang a kid in the head with a giant candy bucket. Um, so I did not get to wear my bucket as much as as I want. So, um, but yeah, Halloween was good. I mean, I saw a few Star Wars things. We had one kid. His, his parents said he couldn't wait to see the stormtrooper, so he he wore like a stormtrooper costume because I wear it every year. Or so, though I felt like saying to him, "Look, last year I wore the sand trooper, but I didn't want to be that guy." You know? <laughs> But I did wear my I wore my sand trooper to Missy's um, thing. I can't wear my sand trooper to official events. So, um, well, you can you just can't get credit for it. Yeah, I don't know how they they get a little weird if you wear an unofficial costume. Yeah, but you can just be there as a tourist. I could be there as I can be there with droid builders. That it it does it does fall in the in the droid builder thing. Yeah, it was it was it was good. I mean, I am um, now that my garage is like crazy clean. I've been going through and getting more of my little projects just either done or given away. So um, that's that leads us to have to have you worked on any costumes? No, I've just in fact I've I've buried our costumes because we're we're going away on vacation soon, and we wanted to come home to our house decorated for Christmas. So. Uh. I ended up going into our storage unit, bringing all the Christmas stuff forward and pushing all the the project stuff backwards. Um, so I probably won't be doing any um, costume stuff until the new year. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll get a warm January. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, I mean, I mean the world's getting warmer. We might as well. We we might as well go out in a a blaze of a blaze of glory. glory. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I I I um. Let me see. I worked a little bit on Zoe's pistols. I haven't started anything new. These are ones I already had printed. Um, and let me see what else I've done. That's about it. I'm I'm trying not to work on a a, a ghost crew. Um, that the main guy's costume. I'm like, oh man. I keep looking at that long jacket and that pirate looking gun. The ghost crew or the skeleton crew? I mean, crew? skeleton crew. Skeleton crew. Sorry. I was going to say, even though it's the, the 10 year anniversary of, of yeah. Star Wars Rebels. Yeah. No, the skeleton crew. Um, but because that trailer, that trailer is still that. I want that song. I want the entire <laughs> song. They have it. They have a tab in Spotify for soundtrack for skeleton crew, but it's, there's nothing in it so, yet. Yet. Yeah. So. Hey, there's Matt. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, Matt, my my yeah, my week is 
filled with robots this week. I have a robot competition in DC in two weeks and my team is very far behind. <laughs> so, uh, um, but Matt, I do like the pictures you sent and the trailers and we're waiting for more and more from, um, all of that good stuff, you know, Matt's skeleton crew. But no, I was just looking at that costume. I was like, there has to be a way I can make that costume. Because I have these, I have this thing running through my head. Like, I can make that costume. And then between me, Ken, and Zoe, we can get tickets to go see it in the theater and I can wear it. That's, that's like my, that's, that's, that's the, that's the, the fly buzzing around in my brain right now. You know, like. Well, we could do like a Disney bound version of it. Yeah. You know. Well, I so I we were at the Disney store a couple of weeks uh, when Zoe was home, and they had the the Has the Halcyon 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 yep. Halcyon crew jacket, right? The the long it looked like a long dress trench coat on clearance for thirty dollars, regularly like two hundred dollars or something like that, and I bought one for Zoe. Because she was interested in it. And then when I left, I was like, oh, I should get one. Because th I could. that would be an awesome pirate, space pirate. And they were gone. Then I, I stopped in at Troll Market in Lancaster. And they had one my size. $180. I was like, oh, man. Well, well, it's, I like, guess. it's like those um, uh, Trapper Wolf helmets that they had in, yeah. Um, yeah. in Ollie's for $30. And then you go to like you know, the, the best buy around the corner and it's 150. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward. Like I, I still think, and maybe it was me and Zoe were talking. It's like, I want, I want a whole costuming group of just pirates. Yeah. Like I want, we have the 501st, we have rebel Legion, we have Mando Mercs. I want blah, blah, blah pirates. That's what I want. Well, uh, here's Okay. Let's let's play a let's play a little betting game. You know, I live close to Atlantic City, so let's let's do some gambling. Okay, all right, gamble away. I will gladly bet you seventy seven dollars that once the skeleton crew comes out, shortly afterwards, the five hundred first will come up with CRLs for a, oh. for, a, for a space pirate. Oh yeah, it'll be in the DZ. It'll be in the denizens of the yeah, Empire. You of course. know, but but I bet you the I bet you the five hundred first is first to that game. Oh, I'm sure. There's probably they probably have the CRL just ready to they because pro probably somebody who knows somebody who worked on the costumes they probably have the pictures done. But um, I would just I would like like I keep, th keep thinking of the pirates from um, the cartoon, which I. Uh, and the cartoon that was, oh, what was it called? Not Resistance. Rebels? No, the one after Rebels. It was done in that different animated style. It was that was Star Wars Resistance. The Resistance. Um, I just love those pirates, like they because they were just Imperial uniforms with with like. Well, the pirates were cool, and the space racers were also cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they had they. You know they had the the defective, not defect, the the, the defected um, tie pilot. Yeah, you know, who yeah, wore the vest and had the tattoos and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I have. I I made a, a helmet version of that. I have a helmet floating around here somewhere. Yeah, so I think it, it would make a cool additional costuming group. Yeah, because you've got Hondo Anaka's pirates. You've got the pirates from Skeleton Crew. You know. Heck, you've got even even Han's costume could be considered a pirate costume because yeah. that's that's what it was originally. Well, you'd have pirates and smugglers. You know. Well, I mean, Lando called them an old pirate. Yeah. Well, one so, person's well, is one person's pirates, another person's smuggler, or vice versa. You, you know, because person... then you also you also have the uh, the survivors in the Mandalorian. Yeah. That that they they rode a pirate ship around on Mandalore on a glass ocean. Yeah, yeah. No, that's. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking forward. I, and that song, like I, I would pay, I would pay a subscription to just get every song possible in Hutties. Like just 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 give me new songs in Hutties. I'm fine with that. Whatever whatever you can make in Hutties, I'm good. 
you know, because that's Captain, was it a Captain Tom? Captain Tom? Is that the song? Yeah, I don't know if it was actually that song in Hutties or not. No, I think it, I think that's what they, I think someone has either verified it or come close to verifying it. Like, I don't know if it's been officially. Um, that would be wild if it is. Well, here, let me see. I'll, I'll learn. I'll, I'll ruin any copyright stuff we have. Hang on. Captain Ooh. Tom song. Is that a song? Who sung that? See, I'm not. Uh, here we go. Was it Elton John? Or was uh, it David Bowie? I, I, okay, let's 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 listen in. Let's see if this works. We'll lose our we'll lose our uh, copyright thing. We can talk about it. Yeah, that way it's not okay. all the song. It's a little slower, right? Maybe David Bowie redid it. Yeah, I can't hear it. I guess I gotta turn it on. Right? Ground control to Captain Tom. Okay, so this is a I know. Let me let me uh, see if I can find the faster version. But I would I would play I would pay any of those. Here we go. Okay, Captain David Bowie looks like did one. And in the in the it was actually Major Tom, not Captain Tom. It was what? I'm sorry. Major Tom. Major Tom. Yeah, with it. Maybe that's what. It, maybe was it Major Tom? Yeah, the song was called Space Oddity. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. I got it. And it was David Bowie. Okay, let's see if they sound. Let's do our. Whoops! I just. I'm I not just, a real music guy. I'm not either. Music, I, I, I I'm not either. So. Come on. Come on. No, it's not. It does not want to play for me. Official. No, these are mixes. Why am I on YouTube? It's, I went to YouTube and it's... The song is Major Tom is Coming Home by Peter Schilling. And those lyrics were translated into Hutties. Yeah, okay. So you were right about the Tom. And you oh, were here right we go. About... Here we go. I found, let's see, I found the official Major Tom video. So let's listen and see what we think. That's pretty. That, that has to be it, right? Yeah, that sounds. That sounds a little bit closer to the, the skeleton crew. Skeleton crew trailer. Yeah, we can. Well, whoops, that's a. There's the newest one. This was twelve days ago. This is it. We're lost. Really yeah, lost. Yeah. Stay together. We just need some directions home. Yeah, see. Come on, kid. Pay up. Whoa. Where'd you two find an old Republic credit? Oh, it's everywhere. Help! Over here, quick. I'll get you home. We'll make a partnership. But we have to move fast. I need you to take oh, the controls. Yeah. Okay. Neil? Mm. Neil. Go, 
Oh yeah. If okay, so I bet you seventy seven dollars that the five hundred first is going to come up with pirate costumes. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And I'll bet you one hundred and seventy seven dollars that the week before the show comes out, there will be people that talk about how much they hate it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, listen, I I said from day one, if you go back and go back and play the tape, how much I was going to love this show from when I first saw it. Hey, I'm Ken today too. Yeah. Um, but the um, I every the more I see, the more I want to see it. Well, for me, and I know I I think I've said it to you a couple times, it just looks fun. Yeah, from top to bottom, inside and out, it just looks fun the number of aliens and creatures that are on the screen the number of ships that you see the the the, the wild expanses of space that you see and there's a jedi in it i mean it's just it's or gonna be jedi. fun and, or maybe a fake jedi it's possible you know it looks like it's just going to be fun and I, I'm, I'm ready for some more fun. I'm, I mean, I think the world needs it. Yeah, I think oh, I yeah. need it. Yeah, just looks fun. Well, and I see. I'm. That's what I'm wondering. With like, that's why I think I, I really hope they have a fan, a, a fan showing of it. I really do, because I, I think I want to sit in the theater again. Like, yes. like I, like I think the closest I got to it was Deadpool. Um recently was get me want to see Deadpool in the theater with people. But well I thought the acolyte in the theater was fantastic. Too. Yeah the acolyte but I mean then we had the Deadpool was after that. You know yeah no I thought the acolyte that was that was so much fun. Uh, and going back in time it wasn't until recently during one of my drive home my drives home that I was thinking about how many Star Wars things they did put in the theater. Yeah. You know, so if you look back to the first Ewok movie, that was that actually had a theatrical release in several countries around the world. Yeah. Um, the Clone Wars, they put together that that movie. They put the Acolyte in the in the theaters, the first two episodes of that into the theaters. Um did they put Obi-Wan Kenobi in the theater? I don't think they did. No, no, what Mandalorian was it? What did you and you and Zoe go to see, and you hung out with uh, Dave Filoni's wife. That was Ahsoka. Ahsoka, okay. That was Ahsoka, yep. Um, so they 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 have historically put a number of things in the theater, at least a couple episodes of it. Yeah. Um, so let's hope that they they continue that practice, even for these these special Disney Plus shows, um, because we're not getting a movie. Until 2026. Right, right. You know, especially now with the technology that they're using where they're they're filming these things digitally, they're filming these things in, in ultra high definition and stuff like that. They're they're built to be shown in, in this kind of resolution and format. So let's do it. Put it on the screen for us, even if it's just the first two episodes of something. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. One hundred percent. Yeah, because I—I mean, you know, I—I—I—I I, I, I often wonder why they put them. Did they put them in for like? Was that advertising dollars they spent to put them in? Was it? You know, that's what I often wonder. Like, what? What? Um, what prompted them to do it? Like was did they think they weren't going to get enough people to see it? Was it, you know? Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever have. I don't think there's an answer because I think each one may have been done differently. So, for instance, you go back to 2008 when they did the Clone Wars movie. Yeah, you know George and Dave and the team. Well, Dave, George specifically thought that it looked good enough to be in the theater. Right. So we wanted to, to, to see it on the big screen. Um, maybe for the Disney Plus stuff, it's it's to, to build up that excitement, to build up that, that energy for the, the show that's coming. 
Um, and maybe, maybe at the core, some of it is let's, let's do this literally and figuratively for the fans. The fans have, have been coming to the theater since 77. Let's give them at least a little something in the theaters um, in whatever year the, the thing comes out in. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, that's, that's what I, I, and I like to think that that's the reason, which I also, you know, I, I know that there's usually more business tied to it than just that. So I do understand. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm hoping I, I, cause that was, was that was through, um, Cinemark or was it through Fandango? The last one. I think the last one was through Cinemark. Okay. I think you're right. Cause I, I, I think I remember signing up for Cinemark and then never getting, never getting a, uh, a, um, like never, no, never getting any information about. It. So, yeah, and it was right to the to the very end. Where I mean, it was just like maybe the week or two before that they. Yeah, I think it was like the Friday or something before it was, it was announced or something. So, but that you know that should be good. I mean, I, I mean, I would think it's a good advertisement because if you get people that don't have Disney Plus. Um, that would be a, that would definitely be a, um, a way to get them hooked into it, to see the first episode. What I would love for them to do again. And when I say they talking about star Wars, um, or Lucasfilm or whoever was involved in this. So, so back when the clone wars was a thing, yeah, they had, or no, when rebels was a thing, sorry, they had the, the show on, on YouTube called rebels recon. Yeah. And it was shortly after the the episode aired. Um, they did a list, little brief thing, little brief um, conversation about the show. They sometimes had interviews with some of the makers. They had some silly bits, and then they would do a little preview for the next episode. Um, I would love for them to get back to doing that for a variety of reasons. Number one, I love the behind the scenes stuff. I'm a sucker for a little story of why they did that thing or who was involved like did you know that this was voiced by by right. so and so who also did you know daffy duck in in space jam or whatever um and it continues the conversation about the thing so yes you get to enjoy the thing and now let's spend a little bit of time talking about it yeah i i'm i miss that i wish I wish they would incorporate Disney Plus even more to to almost like a YouTube channel. Like I, I wish Disney Plus had like more. In, like I wish there were shows like that on Disney Plus all the time. Like a weekly, like the weekly Star Wars. I wish it would be because I, I understand people watch stuff on their phones, but I like to. I I can afford a giant TV. I have a giant TV. I want to watch stuff on my giant TV. You know. So, well, and what would be kind of cool? I mean, I know that oftentimes, especially more recently, they do these roundtable interviews, kind of as almost like a press junket sort of thing. But they'll do roundtable interviews with podcasters. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, Kerwin and Keith have been on it. The folks yep. from Blast Points, you know, Full of Sith, Sky Talkers, a whole bunch of these podcasters will be on that. And how cool of a thing would it be? for the podcasters involved to have their their round table up there on, yeah. on Disney Plus or up there on YouTube for the world to see. And I know that the individual podcasters will post their will post it on their show, but to have their have that exposure. Have that exposure. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so it would be I think it would be really a really cool addition to what they're doing. I mean because Star Wars are is already permitting them access to those round table yeah. things they're giving them the green light to 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 host their their version of the round table discussion on their podcast so so it's 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 for lack of better words it's free advertising for them right well yeah that's how zoe and lizzie got started one of their third or fourth episodes they were on a round table with vanessa marshall yeah and so it's yeah. that kind of stuff um that would be really i think it, it it's an additional thing that they could do um, and not to not to sound overly selfish or greedy, it'll be fun for us to be involved in something like that. Maybe, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I, so yeah, that's, you're definitely 100% right on that. Now, my other thing is, so, so here, so we have what, two weeks, three weeks before skeleton crew. Yeah. What would be, so if some new person came and said, look, I'm going to watch skeleton crew with my kids. What would be, but they wanted from Dr. Ken, the prescription of what they need to do to get ready for that. Um, I don't know if they'd need to do anything special other than get ready to have fun. Yeah. Well, I was trying to think of like, I was thinking, so if someone was trying to get their kids to maybe like, maybe this, and they're thinking this is my gateway to Star Wars with my children. So I was thinking, well, what would I tell them depending on the age of the child? Like say they're, you know, 10 ish or I was like, what could they watch? And I was like, well, you, you, you could watch young Jedi adventures. But that might be a little young. For the, the the kids, the kids whose demographic is um, skeleton crew, you know. But I was th- I keep going back to Young Jedi or yeah, Young Jedi Adventures. The not what was the show? I think you're thinking about the Temple Challenge. Temple Challenge. That's what I'm thinking. Like maybe watch the Temple Challenge. Get get your kids. Yeah, if you were looking to get them, you know, excited about Star Wars and this new Star Wars show, yeah, I think the the Jedi Temple Challenge would be would be a, a good jumping into place um, because it is it is kiddie. I mean, it's it features children completing yeah. these obstacle courses. It it includes um, Keller and Beck as a Jedi and 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 stuff like that. So it, so it's themed properly. And yeah. that, that age demographic, and going back to that other piece I was talking about related to Skeleton Crew, it's just fun. Yeah. Even even for the kids that didn't win the Jedi Temple Challenge, it looked like they enjoyed themselves. Yeah, yeah. You know, as frustrated as they may have been because they didn't get a puzzle or they didn't they didn't swing across the chasm quick enough, they, they still looked, while they were doing it, looked like they were having fun doing it. Yeah, yeah. So that would be a a good place. But then there's also some of the other the other movies that they referenced um, to the lead up to the show. Things like E.T. and um, stuff along those lines. And Goonies. Like Goonies. You know, just hijink adventures stories where where kids are the, the the main focus. I was also thinking Indiana Jones the second movie with, with um, short round. With short round. You know. If you, yeah, that could be. If you if you. Because, see, I, I don't think I've ever seen Goonies. I might have seen parts of it, but I don't think I've ever seen Goonies th- through, you know. Now's your chance. I know. But that's, you know, that was, but that was like a movie when I was a kid. I just, I just, I don't know how I missed it, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. Like, I'm, I'm. I, I, again, I'm hoping they release something in the theater somehow. I'm what not I'm going curious to hold about, my breath. even though I've, so for 2025, I'm not buying anything new. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, not buying, I'm not buying any new action figures. I might buy some books, but I'm not going to buy any new action figures or um, things along those lines. And I'm saying that on November 13th. Okay. So we'll see how far into 2025 I'll get. Um, but it would be interesting to see if they're going to change their their release schedule. Because even with, with like the Acolyte, for instance, they had the show out. And I think it wasn't until after the show was done that you could find any of the, the Black Series figures. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they did any... Well, they may have done a handful of three and three quarter, but they didn't they didn't do any any play sets. The 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 stranger's helmet's not available until 2025. Yeah. Um his I, I don't even think they 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 made his lightsabers. They just made the the hel- or any of the the high republic lightsabers for that matter. That would have been a, a huge marketing opportunity, a huge or merchandising opportunity. You know, high republic Jedi robes for kids or um you know, basil plushies, whatever, but they didn't do, they didn't do hardly any of those things. Yeah. I'm so confused about basil. I I have, I have so many questions about basil. (laughs) You brought basil up and I was like, I'm not sure how I feel about basil. And then there's only a a couple of people that can understand him. Right. Right. But I wonder if that's going to change, especially considering that this show specifically 
um, is being geared towards kids. Even as as sad as it was, the you you mentioned uh, Young Jedi Adventures, all of those toys, as cool as they are, they're now clearance and in in the, yeah. the discount stores and stuff like that. You know, you can get the the play sets and the the speeder sets and and all that sort of stuff for for half, if not more than that or less than that. Yeah, I, I got a uh, uh, Nubs in an X wing for six ninety nine or something like that. Oh, that's funny. You know, so. Well, I said I wasn't going to get any new toys for twenty twenty four, so I stayed away from the Young Jedi Adventure toys. Yeah, I was. We were. We saw it in the store, and I was like, "Oh, well, her one, my our one nephew likes it," and then um, we bought it, and then we. It's just we. I I don't know if we just didn't get invited to his birthday, so it's still sitting. You know, <laughs> you know when kids are real little, like you get everyone gets invited for the first couple, and then when they get a little older, you don't get invited. So yeah. we 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 didn't we didn't make the little kid cut, which is fine. I'm I'm not. Um, so I have a Nubs X-Wing somewhere. Oh, that's funny. The, those adventures, they always give me that Door the Explorer vibe where where I'm like, why are these little kids running around in X-Wings and, uh, and lightsabers? Swinging lightsabers. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> well, what's uh, the, what was um, the, the Crimson Hawk or whatever? What's what's that character's name? She's flying her own ship. Like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. her ship kind of thing. Didn't didn't borrow it from her parents or steal it from her big brother. It's, it's right. Worth it. Yeah. So Star Wars but, doesn't always make sense, but for yeah, me, yeah, but that's the fun cool. part. I mean, again, and then and it, the like it, it would be a nice kickoff to the holiday season. I mean, because we have Life Day, so we have Life Day Sunday. Yep. I know Zoe is doing a like whole Life Day menu and meal and everything. Well, like that's her, very cool. her her and the Rogue Rebels are getting together for Life Day. Nice. Um, so that's you know. I'll probably put on the holiday special and some egg, some chewy milk. Chewbacca eggnog, and get your <laughs> get your hologram of that of that lady singing and Diane Carroll, man. Yeah, Diane Carroll and and uh, don't forget Jefferson Jeff, Starship. They, I think they were Jefferson Airplane then, weren't they? Or no, were I think they were Starship then. Oh, they were Starship. I think so. Not I didn't know just, when they not just Starship, but I think they were Jefferson Starship at that. Yeah, point. I couldn't remember when they changed from Jefferson in if because that would have been in seventy eight, so they could have been. Um, yeah, I didn't remember much of Jefferson. I don't remember that part of the holiday special. Like, like I, I mean, I, I remember watching it originally. I definitely don't remember the 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 Boba set the Fett sky cartoon, on fire. The cartoon. I just don't remember the cartoon at all. I must have fell asleep. Well, the cartoon is the only part of the holiday special that's available on Disney Plus. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like I don't. That's the part as a kid I don't remember. Like I didn't remember ever seeing Boba Fett until I got the toy. Wow. You know, so which so, is opposite from so many people because <laughs> that's some of the I probably only fell things. asleep. I, I mean, I I was that was that was considered like super late night. For for uh you know I was yeah. I was ten years old like we we stayed up till like eight if we were lucky you know we yeah, might I, have I don't remember seeing if I did see it on television I don't remember at all I was three we stayed up I remember the Donnie and Marie one I remember Captain and Tennille like we watched my grandmother watched all those holiday shows like religiously you know Bing Crosby and all that Do you remember hee haw yeah 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 hee haw <laughs> that was about the only country that was in our house was 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 hee haw yeah that's that's pretty country <laughs> yeah i mean well, that's I, think, country. I think there was jo is johnny cash was he country well he was yeah he was considered country at first yeah i don't so think I, he, I don't I, think he became pop until until he was like old when he did like the trent reznor cover oh okay you know i think he was always country yeah, I think we I think we did have some of um him too. We had a record player, so a, a track. We had an A track for a little while. I think I had I had some I had something on A track. I can't remember what. If it was Star Wars or something on A track. I didn't know they made put I didn't know they put Star Wars on A track. I don't know what it was. If it was the if it was something 
it might not have been Star Wars, but it might have been like Star Wars adjacent, like maybe like a orchestra that I as a kid. But my grandmother bought me. It was it. I just remember it was red. Whatever it was, it was red. It was a red, you know, because those things were humongous, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I had an eight track in my first car. So. We should do an episode on 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 some of those classic star like Star Wars related shows, whether it's the skits from Saturday Night Live or even you know when when Mark Hamill showed up on the Muppet Show. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, even even the Star Wars adjacent toys. Like there was those, like. Are you like, talking like the bootleg stuff, or are you talking? No, the 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 legit that were in the catalog right next to it, and it like it was like the evil guy. I just remember I had the robot with treads, and one okay. arm was a plus sign, and one arm was a minus <laughs> sign. You remember that? That and, I don't remember. And the villain, the villain was this guy all in black, and he had like a helmet, but it was like almost like a motorcycle helmet. But it, was he was it Dark Lord? Something like that, and the, the droid was a. It had it looked like a tread droid, and it had a body very similar to R two with a dome on it, and it had two arms, and one arm had a plus sign, and one arm had a negative sign. Hmm. Like I could probably find it in a Sears catalog. I would, I would, I would instantly know what that thing was. And, oh, that's funny. You know, and even the Battlestar Galactica was the Star Wars knockoff. But, you know, like those figures were were definitely um, competing. You know, with star wars well i mean you had ralph mccory doing concept art and john dykstra being involved in the in yeah the, the production of it and i had two of those stupid dogs i had the light brown one and a dark brown one the the robot dogs yeah the one that had a monkey in it <laughs> oh goodness I'm sure that monkey didn't rip someone's face off when it got older that was, that was it was you know that was uh that poor thing was probably oh man well, I'm so glad we got some some new Star Wars stuff coming on the on the um, not too distant horizon. Yeah. And what I'd like to do, maybe we, if we if I put in the effort, maybe we can get uh, well, we can reach out to Walt and see if we can get Walt on before yes. Skeleton Crew. Because once Skeleton Crew comes out, I'd like to, you know, make sure we're, we're talking about that show. Oh yes, yes, yeah. I definitely want to get Walt. I f- totally forgot. I just totally forgot about. Um, that but yeah i'd love to get walt on there um i'd like to get just back into building if, if anything in the last couple of weeks it taught me like when i was trooping it was it was just so much fun to troop for the pure trooping aspect of it so um yeah i'd like to i'd like to get back into that and just get just get my get my priorities straight of of building costumes and trooping and and, and we got to put this. plans together for the the, the golden tauntaun. Oh yes, go! I did get my golden tauntaun. Where is it at? I should have put it. Where did I? It's the, oh, it's up on the other. I got my golden tauntaun from is it John. Next to your Emmy? Yeah, your it's Emmy right next award? to my. And so I got one golden tauntaun. Maybe we'll see if I get a second. Your two golden globes. Golden globes, but yes, we we have to do that. We that's where we're gotta. You know, we got to get John back so he can help us with the graphics at least, or we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rehash our old graphics. But um, yeah, the golden tauntauns are coming up. So uh, Zoe and Lizzie said they would they would help. Um, I don't know what that entails because they're West Coast time. We might have to record at like one in the morning. Um, but yeah, golden tauntauns coming up. Um, yeah, to kick off the the season. There's there's. It'll be a lean Golden Tauntauns, though, because what Star Wars shows do we have this year? We had Acolyte, and we'll just have a few a few episodes of two episodes of three episodes of Skeleton Crew. What was was Ahsoka this year? No, no, that was last fall. the Bad Batch. I think that was last time. Too. Maybe the bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, we're we're fake fans. We're 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 kind of out of sorts. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, get some some better better memory. Of, you know, I need a I need a, a spreadsheet of when shows are on now. I need a. Yeah. Uh, well, plus there's the you know Star Wars Outlaws and the oh, Star yeah. Wars Hunters video game. So there's there's been a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff. Yeah, 
And we've done a lot of stupid stuff on this show. If of worst course. case is we can just uh, talk about that. Well, you might as well say this is the this the 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 stupid the Star Wars stupor show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and you know, we'll we'll see what's what's happening. We still have Fan Expo possibly coming up, hopefully. We they let us in again. Well, at the very least we could that's gonna be one of the one of the potential contenders for a, for an award in yeah in the Golden Tauntauns. Yeah, maybe we can get Matt to maybe we he can have the premiere of a, another trailer from from yeah from the Han Solo Chronicles. Um, well, thanks for hopping on with me tonight for a, another episode of the yeah Inflatable Falcon. Yes, let's let's uh, close this sucker out. Thank you. It's, we had a rough start, but we we got it off the ground. Um, Just like the Falcon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, we cannot, uh, you know, oh, there's the new intro. I use the old intro. I got to delete that other intro, but let's get the outro. We say it every week. I know. I'm going to delete it while this is playing. <laughs> I messed it all up, but <laughs> see you all later. May the force be with you. Yep.